Hey guys, it's Paul. Quick custom video today. Um, Paul has asked me via my help button on my website, how do I edit the quote template uh, in Zoho CRM? Uh, we went forward and back and he was talking about adding a custom logo and then generally editing it, right? So firstly, I've just come to a quote, it's just a test quote, and I'm gonna go print preview. And this is the template. So on mine, no logo. Uh, and then a, f a standard um, quote, right? So what I'm going to do is show you how to edit this quote uh, and maybe have a different version where you go a quote with a different quote type. Uh, you might want to show a non-itemized quote where you just say you're having two of these items, but you take away the, um, the pricing, itemized pricing, and just show a total. Some people don't want to show... Um, individuals right so firstly how to add a logo the logo if it's added um will show up here right let me show you so you're going to go to set up eventually you're going to go company details but let's just look at the template it's in inventory bizarrely in templates and here look here's my invoice to uh, my quote template and here's my quote sign off right so if i click on that it opens it and i can edit it right so it says here company logo so you can add a logo just add a picture or um, odds are if you haven't added a logo to your your zo crm then a lot of your documents are not going out with um with a logo on them right so how do we do that we go back to setup go here company details and go here add a uh, logo so i'm going to choose my logo which one's best uh, da, 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 small I'm looking for a square on here though, really let's use this one and then I'm gonna crop it yes that is my company logo adds that logo now when I go back to that quote and print preview there's the logo right so it's as easy as that for adding your logo so we want to edit this file though so we're going to go back to edit quote we're going to go back to templates we're going to find it in inventory you can i'm not sure if you can just search for quote there yeah because it's in email right but you want this inventory one quote template edit and now you can tinker with it as much as you like so what you might have is you want to put um company logo and you'll see here hint to insert a mail a merge field type in hashtag and choose one from the list right and some more info so when you put in hashtag it brings up information so i might put um let's put potential name right so i put potential name in there save it when i go back to we are in quotes right Go back to test. Have I got a potential name on there? So potential name. So now when I print preview, it should say camera underneath CCTV cameras, right? So that's how we edit it. So you might say, uh, let's go back, templates, uh, inventory. I don't know why it's an in inventory. Uh, quote. Uh, you know, then you might up edit it. You might want to put quote for uh, and then put that in. Ah. Oh, okay. I probably did it in the wrong place, but quote for that, right? Save. Back to me quotes. So print preview i can probably preview it faster in another way there must be so now it says quote for and then cctv cameras right so it's easy to drop in the fields within your crm and and tinker around right so when you do hashtag it's a good job i don't do quotes into it i'm just messing with my main quote uh hashtag and at the top here you might want to pick out something some other details uh Closing date, created time, deal number. You're getting the drift. You can, if you do hashtag, you can pick out anything from contacts, organization, products, and you can drop them into this quote, right? 
and do the funky stuff and you know you want to mess about and and i made i probably need to do a full video on how to edit this sort of thing because it's this is obviously a report isn't it that you're going to use so what i'm going to do is save it though and just say if you want to then have a different type of quote so you might have a quote for um you send to the top boss and a quote that you send to the manager or a quote you do internally and a quote you do externally so all you want to do is copy it uh, and then you might say I don't want it to show totals I want to get rid of all this uh, hold on I might be in the wrong place before I yes discard uh, quote template sign off quote template uh, sales, or am I seeing something there? Hold on. So, I want to clone this. And it just took me into there, didn't I? Because I hadn't done it before. Quotes, let's call it quote template, no pricing. Save. Quote template, public templates, yeah. And save it. So let me just make sure I'm in. Uh, here we go, yeah. So quotes, and then my quotes there, right? So the, the, the original's there, so you might want to check that before you do it. And now I've got, oh God. And now I've got one that says, quote, template, no pricing. So obviously now I'm going to go here and edit it. And I don't want it to show the pricing, so I'm going to get rid of this whole block. All right, save it. Now when I go back to quotes and test, I should, have an option quote template no pricing and that drops off the itemized pricing well to be fair i deleted the whole the whole thing didn't i, what I really should have done was just delete the item price and leave the items there so you know in your quote so a little bit um a little bit i ran through that pretty fast but i think you'll get that you once you get into that position set up click on it paul uh, i missed enough did i get that then templates inventory quote template edit then you can drag and drop or drag and drop then it's a word document effectively in your mind with all these options at the top um you know you spiel all you do is you put you do a hashtag and then it says what do you want to enter hashtag billing code Whatever it is, right? And that'll work across the board on templates. So I hope it helps. Start for Paul on the um, on the button, the help button. If you come to my website, anywhere you go, all Paul did to get that answer is open this up or went to contact, open this up, filled this in. Uh, of course, if you come to training, again, yeah, there's all... The full Zoho CRM, I'm going to add this in the training. But every lesson page uh, on this website, sometimes don't load all the time, should have a help button. So if you've got any questions, fire it in there. Uh, and support at the top, uh, you can just click on and send me a support ticket. So I hope it helped. See you soon. Cheers.